welcome back to Budget Wargamer. And this this is a side project. Um, I'll tell you a little bit of background from these. These are from War Machine. And these, I believe, are Converges, Convergence of Cirrus uh, models. They are something like the Dominators, Decimators, something to that effect. Um, I ended up with these because my... Uh, kind of a short version of a long story. I, I went to a gamer garage sale, sold a bunch of models, um, you know, got like $400 in store credit, but I wasn't anticipating getting store credit. I was hoping to just uh, cash out, but um, this particular store that did the gamer garage sale made you get store credit. So I ended up with way more store credit than I needed. And so I treated my son to pick out some models of his own. And um, he loves robots, so these kind of fit the bill. And he forced me to buy this $45 um, little troop pack. And I didn't want to do them up in the typical silvers, so I did them in, in a flat um, desert type of armor. And I kind of went after like that um, Dutch Africa Corps, that you know World War II German North African type of armor color where you know they took the, the original tanks that were like a panzer gray and then they had just sprayed them down with a desert tan and or desert yellow and so i gave them the same treatment these are you'd be surprised how much of this was painted with a rattle can um, i sprayed these down initially in a um, rust-oleum dark gray primer automotive primer and then uh, let that dry and then i sprayed the underside of these with a light coat of it just prior to spraying the Army Painter Desert Yellow spray paint directly on top of that while both were wet. And then what you kind of end up getting is a um, natural shading. So you have that gray undertone. Let me get that a little bit closer. And it bleeds into the desert yellow. So you, you have that instant shading, which I love getting away with um, doing things out of a rattle can. And... Um, and then what, on top of that, what I ended up doing was taking some, um, I forget what gray I used, actually, Dawnstone it might have been. And then I took some sponge foam from one of my miniatures cases, and I dabbled that gray to show some like wear and tear on the desert yellow. And that's kind of a trick I've seen to show some wear and tear on that paint, because when the, when the Germans went in Africa, my understanding was that they... Uh, kind of hastily painted them and it, and it would wear off over time and the original Panzer Grey would come through. So that was my easy way of doing battle damage. And my son wanted to have the eyes blue. So I painted a lot of all the different uh, power packs, knobs and pieces in uh, some Signar blues, Signar blue highlight, and then some white blended into it in different places. Um, didn't do like some pure object source lighting. Some of the stuff kind of came out that way because I really hastily painted these, threw some cork on the bases, and then just kind of slapped them together. Um, the harsh lining that you see, I took some heavy body black um, wash from Secret Weapon Miniatures, and I just went in with a fine uh, detail brush from Games Workshop and then just hit the lines up real quick. The metal pieces, the gears and cogs, the fists, and that sort of stuff I did in... Um, one of the bronzes from Games Workshop, because I wanted to have something that wasn't totally bright silver. And there you can see where that comes out, where that um, dark gray automotive primer and the desert yellow blend together. Uh, because I did the, the dark gray primer in uh, wet coat, and then immediately hit it with desert yellow and let them blend together. And then as a final bit, did kind of like a zenithal highlight, whatever you call that, on the very top section in um, desert yellow at the very end of it. Really cool quick technique. Um, I use a similar technique on my corn army between the dragon red primer from army painter and then the blood red on the top. It's kind of hard to tell now but um, then I hit everything up. I love this sealant. I end up using testers dole coat. Absolutely the best um, Clear coat in the business and I get these at Michael's they're normally five bucks but with their 40% off coupon ends up being three dollars and tax so it's like three dollars and twenty six cents 
for a little um, half size can. Totally killer. You can do just about an entire uh, 40k size army with one little can, if not two cans. And unlike all the other um, matte varnishes, it d ends up being the absolute most um, matte clear coat. It'll actually take all of the uh, shine right off of dips and varnishes and things like that. Um, here's the type of, uh, this is the exact piece actually, that I used for dabbing on the um, gray.